Okay, so just like I've done in fine, our uh, other previous videos, is I talk about retention outside the holster. So if I have the weapon and someone takes that, I need to change the leverage point. Garrett grabs a hold of this. He's in a very good position to take my gun. He's winning the leverage point. So in a prior video, I've talked about going to the cup, okay, to change the leverage point. Today, we're talking about weapon defense. So what I mean by weapon defense is this gun is now pointed at me. Whether he took my own gun or I took his, or he has his own gun or he took mine. So if someone points a gun at me, the number one thing I need to do is control the barrel and get offline simultaneously. So if that gun's here at me, whether I'm facing it, facing away, is I going to get a hold of the barrel and get offline. Obviously, make sure the meat and potatoes are out from the front of the barrel. If I grab this and he rips off around, it's going to hurt my hand a little bit. But when he's here, I'm going to get off that X again, moving at this dominant angle of 10 o'clock along with controlling the barrel here. Okay. Now, he can get one round off on this. On a semi-automatic pistol, which most pistols that are carried now are semi-automatic, he'll get one round. Make sure that you're not standing in front of the barrel for that one round. Okay. After that, he's going to have to refunction that weapon to make uh, that gun go bang again. Okay. A lot of people will be like, oh, if he fires that gun, you're going to let go. Not true. I 100% can tell you, and I run this as a stress inoculation drill along with my buddy Brian Hartman, is you grab this gun, me and potatoes out of the way, do this on the range, live fire, we'll say go ahead, trigger presses two, your partner fires two trigger presses. The gun only goes bang once because it doesn't function, okay? I can let go, my hand will be perfectly fine, okay? I can 100% tell you your hand will be fine, you will not let go, that is fear. If you work that stress inoculation drill of holding onto the barrel, you won't let go, okay? So he sticks that gun out in front of you, Offline, I have a really good grab here. Now, multiple different ways to take this gun away. One, you could strike, you could strike. I like to strike with my head or my knee, and I like both hands to do work on the gun, okay? Multiple different ways you can do it, and I'm gonna tell you the way I like to do it, and then I'll explain why, okay? I like to take the barrel and go right to him, upwards with it. Okay, so I like to take the barrel and go up. Obviously, don't have your head over it and bring it up and, and uh, like laser yourself. Here I'm offline. If I strike fine and then I'm out of the way, it goes straight up and onto him. Okay, right here. Now from here, I can yank and take the gun away. The reason I do that over taking the gun, a lot of people take the gun away towards them, is... Most of the time we're fighting in a gunfight, there's going to be other people around. In a civilian uh, living atmosphere here, environment, there could be a grocery store, could be a parking lot, could be a club, could be wherever, robbery at the ATM, whatever it is. We don't know what is behind us, to the right of us, or back. So if I get offline and I start to take the gun that way and he gets that one round off, one of those people over there could get hit downrange, 